Good morning, Excellency. My name is uh, Jean-François Dupaquier from Africa Arabia. If you watch at the French-speaking press in recent days, you see a lot of articles in favor of Rwanda. Anyhow, there is often an incidental headline that asks the question, but who is Kagame really? The propaganda of your enemies, particularly in Congo, describe you as a cruel and bloodthirsty tyrant. Do you try to change this image? For example, in most of your official photographs, you look severe and distant. This can contribute to fueling controversy. Why don't you wear a slight smile like all your fellow presidents <laughs> around the world? Do you ultimately like or dislike being fed, sometimes hated, in the Western world? Thank you. Good. <laughs> uh, I think you have summarized well <laughs> the questions that have been there but not asked directly. <laughs> uh, but uh, for the smile, I think I have to borrow either some talent or actually directly the, the smile from some people. But the fact that it is, uh, the smile is lacking on me is not my making. Uh, uh, Maybe it happens accidentally. But, uh, but very interesting way of putting uh, the, your question. Uh, uh, I try to answer it this way. Uh, starting with uh, who, who is me, who is the person. I, I have... Uh, me is the person you see. I'm not hiding anything. What you see in me is what I am. If you are just going by the looks or by whatever, or what, what I do more, I think, is what may describe me than my physical looks. Uh, so, I wanted to say, what you see is what you get with me. Uh, in, in most cases, in words or in deeds, they relate. My deeds and my words tend to relate. My looks may be different from that, may be different from my deeds and, uh, and how I think. Uh, but in any case, isn't um, the description of uh, the looks uh, also subjective? There are people who see me as a, uh, through the looks as a terrible person. There might be others who say, after all, there's nothing bad looking like that. So it's, it's subjective. But um, to the point you're making about tyrant or cruel or... You see, you, you, you can't be bad to that extent. Uh, cruel or a tyrant or bloodthirsty or whatever. And hide it. It's difficult. Even if you try to hide it, there is a moment it betrays you. And that also, once it has come out or once it is not there, you register the feeling, the description, the, from people who have to deal with you. 
if I, if I was some of the things uh, people have said about me or described me as, I mean, the judgment is out there, either for the people of this country or other people somewhere else. And it wouldn't just be confined to the press, because the press is full of individuals. But these individuals don't add up to a population that is as big as Rwanda's, even if Rwanda is very small. These are just individuals. Five in France, 10 in America, three in China, uh, two in Belgium, and so on and so forth. If you add all of them up, and they are even all negative and saying things about me, surely these can't be the people that are right and the rest wrong. But they, 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 are, they only take advantage of the platform they have, of the, they are able to command uh, some uh, voice that uh, they put out there for people to, even people who don't know what you're talking, there are many people who even don't know about Kagame and get to know him by what a journalist has said, or the one in the press has said. And uh, in many cases in my experience, some of them have started by hearing what the journalist said and they ended up saying, but we've been told lies when they come to know this through other means, either by direct contact or visit or whatever and interaction with other people who know this person that has been talked about. They may say this, this person told us lies. Uh, and consistently, over many years, has been telling us lies. What we saw, what we heard, whether it is this city, whether it is the person, whether it is this. They say, no, but what we are being told is completely different from what we have seen or experienced. So, and, and of course, there is a particularity with the, the Western press. The Western press, but you, 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 I mean, you will find out there are things that were said about this country 30 years ago, 25 years ago, that are being repeated now, which means, according to them, nothing has changed. They talk about uh, Rwanda, very poor population. We are poor. We are not where the developed countries are, for sure. But this poverty, the way it was in 1995, in 2000, is not the way it is in 2024. But somebody will keep writing in the press, like what we have today, is the same thing as we had 25 years ago. And keep just rubbing it in. You know, even the Kagame and his looks and so on, I, I've been trying, in recent days I've been trying with a smile. Maybe it's not a good smile, but I've been trying. <laughs> so the, the Kagame you saw in 95, in 94, 2000, I, I, anyway, there was no smile. There was nothing to smile about, so I didn't smile. <laughs> but now, with some progress, I can afford some smile once in a while. So, if somebody thinks, I, I, you know, uh, like that, you know, I have even grown uh, gray hair. 
Last time I had black, my hair was black, and now it is gray. It is actually disappearing. I, I may be bald. But so if, if, if you think the Kagame you saw 20 years ago is the same now, <laughs> no, it, it is a misrepresentation. But even then, that time, I looked different, and uh, the press may not have uh, uh, liked the way I look uh, like. But the situation that time may be looked like that itself. <laughs> so I can't be in a heap of dirt and then I'm smiling. I mean, th th that's a lie. I would be a liar, I would be pretending, I would actually be... Um, having some problems with, with me to, to pretend that everything is okay around me when everything is bad. So, finally, the Kagame you see or there or you like or you don't like is going to be there anyway. <laughs> I, I don't need anybody to like me or, or to hate me to live my life. I live my life whether you like me <laughs> or you don't like me. And I have my views, I express them, I will do things, I will do. Uh, so I owe my living to not a single individual or country, even if powerful ones. No, we all. Human beings created, sometimes they say, by God, I don't know, maybe. Maybe some, we are there for something. But so for somebody to have powers over me, uh, that one I can tell you is not possible. Yeah, even the most powerful don't, didn't create me. Who created them, first of all? And we are all here just temporarily. We, 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 if we are lucky, we live up to 100 years. Those are the luckiest. You know? So the one who is saying all that has also his time, and he will go, like all of us. Everyone has their day. Uh, so that's why I can't accept that anyone who has uh, powers over somebody else to the point of dictating. Uh, uh, even the most powerful don't have power over us, uh, how we live, how we do. So, but the Kagame has been shaped by that philosophy, that understanding, that what well, I try like any human being and do my best, do what I can do, do what I have to do. I may have flaws, make mistakes, own up and do good things, benefit and benefit others. And so I'm that person. Tell, tell those people that actually to know me is not complicated. 